Hey everyone, for many African brothers and sisters, do you know that shaking a child could deform or even kill your newborn baby? Do you also know that in many Western countries, this can bring you many years behind bars? Shaking a child is seen as child abuse and can result in serious criminal charges. Today, we will discuss this critical and sensitive topic, the hidden dangers of shaking a child. This theme is vital for every parent and caregiver to understand because it can have devastating consequences on parents and children. It is therefore crucial to be fully informed. First, let's understand what happens when a child is shaken. The mechanics of this are quite alarming and can lead to severe injuries. When shaken, the child's brain moves back and forth against the skull. This violent motion can cause significant damage. This can cause bruising, swelling, pressure and even bleeding in the brain. The brain is a delicate organ and such trauma can have long-lasting effects. It's a form of what medical professionals call shaken baby syndrome or more formally, pediatric abusive head trauma. This terminology underscores the severity and the abusive nature of the act. The symptoms of this trauma can vary widely, but they often include extreme irritability, difficulty staying awake, problems with breathing, and sometimes, sadly, seizures. These symptoms can be terrifying for both the child and the caregiver. These signs can appear immediately or develop over a period of days or even weeks. It's crucial to be vigilant and seek medical attention if you notice any of these symptoms. Now we want to emphasize how delicate a young child's head and neck structure are. Understanding this can help prevent such injuries. Their muscles aren't fully developed and their necks can't support the weight of their heads well. This makes them particularly susceptible to injury from shaking. This makes them incredibly vulnerable to injury. Even a moment of frustration can lead to irreversible damage. Parents and caregivers, I know how frustrating, exhausting and overwhelming it can be when a baby won't stop crying. It's a situation that tests the patience of even the most loving caregivers, but shaking a child is never the answer. The consequences are too severe and can affect the child for the rest of their life. It can lead to consequences that last a lifetime, not just for the child, but for everyone involved. The emotional and psychological toll on the family can be immense. Instead, let's talk about some alternatives. There are ways to manage your frustration and ensure the safety of your child. If you find yourself getting frustrated, put the baby down in a safe place like a crib and take a moment for yourself. This simple act can prevent a tragic outcome. Step outside the room, take some deep breaths, stretch or even call a friend. Sometimes a brief break is all you need to regain your composure. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. No one expects you to handle everything on your own. Reach out to family, friends or professionals if you need support. There are resources available to help you through challenging times. In conclusion, understanding and preventing shaken baby syndrome starts with awareness and education. By being informed, we can take steps to protect our children. By keeping our calm and seeking help when needed, we can ensure the safety and well-being of our little ones. It's a collective effort that requires patience and support. If you suspect a child has been shaken, it's crucial to seek its immediate medical attention. Early intervention can be life-saving. Early intervention can make a significant difference. The sooner a child receives medical care, the better their chances of recovery. Thanks for listening and please take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, the well-being of our children is a shared responsibility. Let's protect our children together. By working together, we can create a safer environment for all children. If you found this video helpful, please comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more important information on child safety. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content. Scene 2, additional information and resources. Now let's examine some additional information and resources that can help you prevent shaken baby syndrome and other forms of child abuse. There are many resources available to educate parents and caregivers about the dangers of shaking a child and how to handle stressful situations. Support groups can be incredibly beneficial. They provide a space to share experiences, gain advice and find emotional support from others who understand what you're going through. Hotlines are also available for immediate assistance. If you ever feel overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Parenting classes can offer valuable techniques and strategies for managing stress and caring for your child safely. These classes often cover a wide range of topics, from basic childcare to advanced parenting skills. Regular consultations with your pediatrician can also provide guidance and support. Don't be afraid to ask questions and seek advice on how to handle challenging situations.
Educational videos and webinars are another great resource. They can provide you with the latest information and research on child safety and well-being. Books and online resources can also be incredibly helpful. There is a wealth of information available at your fingertips, so take advantage of it. It's also important to have open discussions about child safety within your family. Educate older siblings and other family members about the importance of gentle handling and the dangers of shaking a child. Community events and workshops can provide hands-on learning experiences. These events often bring together experts and other parents to share knowledge and support. Practicing stress relief techniques can help you stay calm and composed during challenging times. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation and exercise can be very effective. Using tools like baby monitors can also provide peace of mind. Knowing that you can keep an eye on your baby even when you're not in the same room can reduce stress and anxiety. Ensuring a safe sleep environment for your baby is crucial. Make sure the crib is free of any hazards and that your baby is sleeping on their back to reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Creating a child safety plan can help you be prepared for any situation. Discuss emergency procedures and make sure everyone in the household knows what to do in case of an emergency. When using baby carriers, make sure they provide proper support for your baby's head and neck. This can prevent injuries and ensure your baby's safety. Learning and practicing safe handling techniques can make a big difference. Ask your paediatrician to demonstrate and practice with a doll if necessary. Always ensure that your baby is secure in strollers and car seats. Proper use of these devices can prevent accidents and injuries. Creating a calm and safe environment at home is essential. Gentle play and interaction can help your baby feel secure and loved. Bedtime routines such as reading a story or singing a lullaby can also promote a sense of security and well-being for your baby. Spending quality time with your baby and bonding as a family can strengthen your relationship and provide emotional support for both you and your child. If you're struggling with stress or emotional challenges, seeking advice from a child psychologist or counsellor can be very beneficial. Professional support can help you navigate difficult times. Participating in child safety campaigns and advocating for child safety can also make a difference. By raising awareness, you can help prevent shaken baby syndrome and other forms of child abuse. Sharing information on social media and writing about your experiences can help spread awareness and educate others. Your story could make a difference in someone else's life. Cherishing the moments and celebrating milestones with your baby can bring joy and strengthen your bond. These positive experiences can help you stay focused on the well-being of your child. Reflecting on the importance of child safety and making a commitment to protect your baby can reinforce your dedication to their well-being. Supporting each other through challenges and finding strength in your family can help you overcome difficult times. Together, you can create a safe and loving environment for your child. Expressing gratitude for the support you receive from family and friends can strengthen your relationships and provide emotional support. Enjoying peaceful moments together as a family can create lasting memories and reinforce the importance of gentle and loving care. Looking at your baby with love and smiling at them can convey a sense of security and well-being. Your baby can feel your love and care. Protecting your baby together as a family is a shared responsibility. By working together, you can ensure your baby's safety and well-being. If you found this video helpful, please comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more important information on child safety. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content. Thanks for watching and remember, together we can make a difference in the lives of our children. Take care and stay safe. Now let's discuss a critical aspect often overlooked. The legal implications of causing injury to a child through shaking. Understanding the severity of these actions and the legal consequences that follow is essential for every parent and caregiver. When a child is injured due to shaken baby syndrome, the legal consequences can be severe. Shaking a child is not just a momentary lapse in judgment, it is considered a form of child abuse and can result in criminal charges. Depending on the jurisdiction, these charges may include child endangerment, assault or even homicide if the injuries result in the child's death. The legal system takes these cases very seriously. Law enforcement and child protective services are typically involved immediately upon suspicion of such abuse. 
Medical professionals are mandated reporters, meaning they are required by law to report any suspected cases of child abuse, including shaken baby syndrome. If convicted, the consequences for the perpetrator can be life-altering. Sentences may include lengthy prison terms, fines and mandatory participation in parenting or anger management programs. Additionally, the convicted individual may lose custody of their children and face ongoing supervision by Child Protective Services. Understanding these legal implications is crucial. It underscores the importance of never resorting to shaking a child, no matter how frustrated or overwhelmed you may feel. The consequences extend beyond the immediate physical harm to the child and can also affect the entire family's future. It's important to remember that the legal system is there to protect the well-being of children. By enforcing strict penalties, it aims to deter such harmful actions and ensure that children are raised in safe and nurturing environments. If you ever find yourself struggling with the challenges of parenting, remember that there are many resources available to help you. Seeking support is a proactive step that can prevent tragic outcomes and ensure the safety and well-being of your child. In conclusion, understanding the legal implications of shaken baby syndrome is an essential part of preventing this form of abuse. Awareness and education can help protect our children and ensure that caregivers are equipped to handle stressful situations appropriately. If you found this video helpful, please comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more important information on child safety. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content. Thanks for watching and remember, together we can make a difference in the lives of our children. Take care and stay safe.